We have to find the length of the missing side uh, to solve this Pythagoras question, Pythagorean question. All right, so this is a right angle triangle, so we can use Pythagoras' theorem, which looks a little bit like this. Okay, not like this, because this is just the word Pythagorean theorem. And this is a triangle. Well, it's the same triangle we had in the question. And Pythagoras' theorem says that the a, the a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where a is the shorter of the two legs, right? The, the, the legs are the perpendicular sides, right? And b is the longer of the two legs. And by the way, the a and b really interchangeable. They really don't, you know, like you can call a the longer and b the shorter. It doesn't really matter of the two legs. But I like to call a the smaller one and b the, the you know, the longer of the two legs, but the, you know, the middle of the three sides. And C is the longest of all three sides, and this is the hypotenuse. It's always right across, directly opposite the right angle, and it's the longest side, okay? So I always think of it as the hippopotamus, because the hippopotamus is really big, and, and it's opposite of a 90 degree angle. No, that doesn't make sense. But hippopotamuses are big, and hypotenuses are big. There you are. Okay, so a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And this is our a, which is 168, and our b is 425, and our c is unknown. That's why we have this equation. Okay, so 168 squared plus 425 squared is equal to c squared. So we just have to use our calculators at this point. So got one right here. So 168 squared, that's to the power of 2, plus 425 to the power of 2 is equal to, well, that's a big number, but that's c squared, right? Okay, so what we, like, once, once we know that c squared is that, to figure out c, we're just going to take the square root, okay? So c is going to be the square root of that number, and then, so back to the calculator, and square root, there we go, 457. So c is 457, and that's our answer, okay? So let's go and put that into the program. So 457, don't forget your units, decimeters. Whoops, not decimeters. Yay. Okay. And you only have 240 seconds, and I took uh, 696 seconds, which is a lot of seconds. Anyway, over five minutes. But I was making a movie, so I have an excuse. All right, and that's it for Pythagorean Theorem. Have a good day. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, have a good day now.